I'ma bring it back to the back to the Bring it back to the basics. I'ma I'm a bring it, bring it back to the 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 I'ma get down, get on. That's what I've been on. Fucking with your mind, trying to turn shit on. But they wanna pit me as a villain. Even though I'm here to open their mind through the rhyme of life, I got to open their mind and design the right time. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again. Remove your old hardware and apparently drive cars. You do not see my disgusting face, that's because I am going to be over here and we're going to be doing some very interesting things to this little GPU here. Now, some of you may remember this card here. This is actually the Radeon HD7950 that I actually used in my $91 Battlefield PC a while ago. Now, this cooler is actually not supposed to be on here. Um, this was actually taken off of something else and is not even designed to fit on here. I actually have a piece of copper connecting this and today I want to put this cooler onto here. Now that's a very interesting um, idea and I saw some guy on YouTube do it and I have the same parts he does but we are going to try and do that today and I'm going to be doing a lot of interesting work to this GPU to try and fit this Hyper 212 Vivo on here including this um, thing, the same thing he actually used. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this little uh, whatever we're doing right now. So let's get into it. All right, so let's take this card off. You're gonna be really, really shocked when you guys see this. All right. You see that? See that piece of copper? It's not supposed to be on there. I made that so that I could bridge the contact. It's very ghetto, very, very ghetto. But um, that's what you got to do when you want to mine cryptocurrency and you don't have a cooler for your cards. Oh, goodness gracious. That has been on there a while. Man, that thermal paste is absolutely crusted on there. That is not good for a GPU, let me tell you. All right, let's get this cooler out of the way. All right. Let's clean this puppy off. He put the Hyper 212 on, um, I think it was this way, and then he put this on top to hold pressure, and then he put two things like this, but I've already done a little bit of um, experimenting, and I want to use these screws to go all the way through, but as you can see, they're not going all the way in, so my solution is going to be to actually screw these in, try and open up this hole as best as I can without... Um, actually damaging the card because I don't want to take a drill to this card so I'm going to try and get it open as much as I can like with this screw down here I tried on and I'm going to try and get this through there and then mount this like this hopefully put um, the plate through and hold it in place kind of like this and then voila so let's see if we can do it huh Now see, this screw will actually screw in all the way, which is good because it's, it's very thick, and as you can see, it, it's going in, but it takes quite a bit of force, and it's opening up the hole pretty nicely. That's a very bad noise, I must say. So let's see if we got that open up. couple more screws with this guy and we should be able to get that in there now I'm also going I'm gonna do this side as well real quick I'm gonna cut real quick and then I'm gonna go grab um, some spacers and I'm gonna grab the thermal paste we're gonna try this my um, quick and easy way to make a spacer is to use a piece of paper and just punch a screw through kind of like this well first 
I need my pair of scissors. Here they are. You cut out, I don't know, like a corner, kind of like this. Of any piece of paper, it could be anything you want. And then you punch it through, kind of like this. Okay? Now you got it in there, and then you just kind of cut around it. Kind of like that. I mean, I've done this for a couple of things in the past, and it's worked pretty well. And you just kind of want to circle around it, kind of like that, until you get a nice round circle. That's pretty good. I'll take that. There you go. Now you got one spacer. Those aside for now, and I think this is the time where we put on th some thermal paste. Now, I think I want to align the cooler this way, but I'm not sure how it's going to make contact if I don't do it like this way. It's very, um... So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use this salt shaker, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get put some salt on the GPU. Okay. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a very small amount, minuscule. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the cooler on how I want to put it. Okay. I'm going to listen for cracking. Now, if it's cracking, that's a good sign. It means we're making contact. If I pull this up, and then I see, there it is. You see the salt on there? It's making contact. So that's perfect. That will work. <laughs> Let's get all that salt out of here. Ooh. All right, guys, here we go. Let's pray that this works, huh? So I'm just going to do a little dot sized, maybe a little bit, um, I'm going to be a little bit generous just because I want the cooler to really um, connect the thermal paste. So we're going to be a little bit generous with that. Okay, that looks all right. Okay. Now, how do we want to do this? Let's first get these off. I'm so sorry, GP. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is definitely not turning out how I expected. That's one side down. Now this thing is skating off on me. What are you doing? one side down. This thing is trying to skate off on me big time. Would you stay on there please? Fucking ridiculous this looks, yo. China! Oh. Okay. Well, if I didn't kill it yet, it must be close. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. Well. 
I hope that's making okay contact, because I don't know if I want to ever take this off. <laughs> oh, God, look at they're all crooked and shit, dude. Okay. Now, we are going to want to use these spacers real quick. Put these on. Now we're going to use this to secure them real quick. But he's a good Hyper 212 Evo. There we go, guys. It is on. It is making contact. As you can see in there, it is not the prettiest looking thing I've ever seen. But hey, there's kind of an upside. Here's a fan. Put that on there real quick. See how that looks. <laughs> what? the actual flying fuck did I just make there you go ladies and gentlemen that is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo on top of a Radeon HD 7950 my friends so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm, I'm gonna go over to my uh, my bench over there I'm gonna plug this in we're gonna see if this works okay Got the mic over here. You guys are going to have to bear with me. I'm doing this uh, super gorilla style. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up all the connections um, on camera so you know I'm not faking it, which might be a little difficult to do. So as you can see, this is a absolute nightmare. Okay. Well... I think I've got everything hooked up. Let's make sure I get the power on. Okay, I got the power off. Okay. Power is on. Okay. So, it's working. Got the mouse. Let's see what kind of temps we're getting. I already have drivers installed, so. Bring the mic with us. Okay, what the hell is going on here? So we are getting an error message. Um, F1. Oh, there we go. We are booting up. So, let's see if we can get afterburner open. You're gonna have to bear with me. I have a really low power um, chip in here at the moment. So, um, it takes forever to do anything. It's like a 45 watt LJ775 CPU and it's terrible. So you're gonna have to bear with me for this. Well, okay, GPU temperature is 38 degrees right now. I'm gonna zoom in on that real quick. Okay, it is 3738C right now. And that is with the auto fan speed from the cooler, so, um, or the motherboard. I apologize. So that's Buddha Heaven. And I'm just going to run it at um, 900p, but windowed mode, but ultra. So, because um, I don't have the afterburner statistics on right now. So we are going to see if this crashes and, we'll, and if we need to do any other work and what temps we're getting. So, let's zoom that out real quick. Uh oh. What was that? Is that a crash? Uh oh, that doesn't look good. What's up everybody? So I actually, I got everything working. As you can see, right in here, we got both my GPUs going. And GPU 2 is the one with the 212 EVO on it. And um, so I actually had to put the copper shim from the other cooler back on there. And now we are at 49C. You are reading that right. That is the 7950 with the 212 Evo on it. And if we go over here, you can see I have our um, 7950 with the 212 on it running with the uh, stock fan at 100% and our 380. And they are going to work. And I need to uh, definitely 
uh, mess around with the 380 a little bit more because 82C is not good for the card's life. Um, but yeah, this right here is beautiful. And by the way, I'm running this with um, different settings as well. Let me check these out real quick. And I'm running this card heavily overclocked as well. So I'm running plus 20 power a little bit, uh, 960 megs and 1525. I'm getting that right there. So. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I actually have been making this video for about three months, but I got injured in multiple different areas and I haven't been able to finish it. And I've been trying to get back into the groove of making videos once again. So the 7950 has been doing a great job cryptocurrency mining for me. It's been ice cold, 50 degrees C, heavy overclock. It's been doing great. VRM, VRAM, ice cold, no need for heat sinks, believe it or not. Got a lot of airflow going over them, but it has been doing great for me, so I hope you guys enjoyed me putting a CPU core on a GPU. And I'm going to be coming back with a GPU video very, very soon for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Follow me on Twitter. Do whatever you guys want to do. It's been a blast, guys. I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon.